right this is part two so this is how the transition has uh, already taken place and that's how far I've gone now I have to try and put back the prime management together and fire up the system so right now I just um, I'm working on this and get everything arranged and guys tell me what you think and I asked for you guys opinion the other day or the I said okay I should do that and now the art pack are all in the same spot I have to move the uh, command center a little bit that way to the gray disconnect over there so I can have get room a little bit from the inverter and uh, the charge controller because if it's running especially if I have to uh, charge the batteries so or whatever they get warm. There's a turbo fan that cools the system, which sits right in the center by that, where the map number the FX 3048 empties. So, right there. You see that there's a turbo fan seat, and uh, uh, it's gonna be okay, but I just need a little clearance there to make it really uh, nice the way I want it and down by the wires down there it's gonna be my mate it's gonna be connected there and the FNDC so I'm gonna show you what I did I have another video for how I improvise the old box I used to have put in the uh, um, the MERC -E 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 for the magna sign so now I already improvised and took the uh, MERC -E to inside our box and um, take it off from that box and put back the art back uh, made free onto it but you're gonna be seeing a video coming up soon with that and stay tuned because I'm gonna be bringing you more live coverage here at the command center of the JW Solar USA right here command center so guys this is how it looks like Seems like everything is working great. And tell me what you think. Give us a like, subscribe, and share. The charge controller is still doing these things that have been disconnected, charging batteries. So when I fire up, I don't want to miss the rest of the day without batteries being charged in these projects. So take care, folks. I'm going to be installing the uh, Mate 3 down there and uh, controlling the system and I'm going to be con connecting the MEARC uh, probably up by the gray box there so I can able to monitor or maybe down in between the inverter inverter and the charge controller right there so I can able to monitor everything all right guys like subscribe and share it is kind of hard to just move things around I've been dragging myself but uh, I have to do this you guys like it that way so if I want to talk about this guy I'll just focus on this guy right here okay no outback nothing so if I want to talk about outback I can just switch right here shift gears from there and talk about the outback alone and there's a reason why I decided to go this way because of um, certain reason something that I experienced um, well I'll talk about that in uh, another video I don't want to uh, contradict myself or make this video complicated I want this video to be who the video is and, um, and we go from there all right, guys, thanks for your opinion, thanks for your help, thanks for your suggestions, and stay tuned for more to come live from this channel, JW Solar USA, live from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye for now. Love you guys all. Stay blessed and have a sunny day for most of you guys. If you have a rainy day, well, it's about time for panels to take showers. Bye.